this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our high selves around this journey to love. And so what I want to share today is a quick conversation with our divine counterparts and the universe to help give us guidance about what they want us to know. Because um, I've had emails today from people saying their twins have told them they've got engaged to other people, um, they've had immense sadness and feeling very sad and so um i thought right i'm just gonna ask what do you because of that i just thought okay give us some help please so the questions that i asked are what do you want to tell us today and it is the 47 card which is called number 11 which is the sacred pool so it's about realizing that you and there are so many water cards here which is all about emotions so, um, you know, the sacred pool is about looking in the mirror of the sacred pool of your twin and showing what are the things that you need to let go. And so because realizing that actually you are together at the heart already and anything that they're doing up till now and on their journey is because you are both on a soul growth path together. Um, and of course, that may mean having other people involved because we learn our lessons from the relationships and people that we come across. And so it's just all part of the journey. And so then it's about having appreciation for all of the people involved in your soul growth. So what do you need me to do to help you? And so this is what do, does your twin want you to do to help them? And it is the magic stream. And it is number 18, which is number nine. And so the magic stream, again, is about flowing in, you know, go with the tide, flow in the water, cleanse your, you know, clean, purify yourself of all fears, anxieties, worries, and trust that your union will come in at the right time. Because what then the question was, what do you want us to focus on? And it is the coming to life card. So it is also number 29, which is 11. So if you see either side of the magic stream, there is 11, 11. And so it's basically saying that, you know, come to raise your own light. She's actually holding her own lantern of light up here. The more you come into your own power, the more you own your own light, the more you will trust in your union. So what's blocking at the moment? And it is the bone collector card. And so I'm going to read this um, through because this is... The element that is blocking at the moment and essentially divine timing really um, because it's all set in stone you and your union it's all written in your heart and so we're just all piecing together our jigsaw pieces so what does the universe want you to know about reunions and it is this it is no wonder because it is the sad embrace so it is number nine as well. So again, mirroring here, you know, the, what do they want us to do to help them? Magic stream and the sad embrace. So basically it's saying let go of the sadness. The sadness again has come up as an emotion to be let go of. I mean, or, you know, actually embrace it. I always say embrace the sadness because that's what makes us human. That's what makes us live this experience because we want to experience all emotions um and to really you know embrace those emotions um so the next the union uh the universe also wants to tell us about the dragon's lair which is brilliant because this is number 19 which is 10 which is one and in order to have the new beginnings this is basically saying you know um it will challenge you to the core and the fear that you feel when you first go into a new relationship but you know life is to be challenged you have to exp you have to basically jump on board the ghost train so um what does the universe want you to focus on and is this and it is the coming together card which again is so lovely because it's number eight which is infinite love endless love you know, knowing that you will always be together. The, also, the giraffe sees from a higher perspective and also the twin hearts and the triple heart on top. So it is about focusing on coming together and living that union, being the vibration of your union now, because then you trust, 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 and it will make you 
much um, more able to ride those emotions. So what does your divine counterpart want to tell you today? And it is the sacred pool, which is this. The world is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings and beliefs. Embody the love you wish to see in the world. When you look into the mirror, do you like what you see? The sacred pool card asks that you focus on self-love and self-esteem. We are all works in progress, so a detached self-examination made with rigorous honesty is called for now. Reflect by the sacred pool and be at peace with yourself. Can you see how far you've come and how magical your life is? Do you notice the spark of the divine shining through your eyes? When you're conscious that you're the embodiment of spirit, it becomes easier to respect yourself and act in good conscience. Then you'll reap the greatest rewards. Your unique service to the world is not only needed, but celebrated. See the love within you and know that if you cast it upon the waters, it will return to you tenfold. Be at peace for you are beautiful and loved. Act with surety and confidence and success shall be yours. So they're basically saying success is ours. We are going to win this race. There's no doubt about it. So the next one is what do they want you to do to help them? And it is everything is connected through the universal flow of consciousness. Every experience you have seems to have its own life story with a beginning, a middle and eventually an end. However, there is a danger in seeing events as separate from one another since in fact they are all part of a continuity and a greater evolution. Like an ever-flowing magic stream, your experiences filter through the whole world, one leading into another, informing and influencing still more. Inspiration, invention and revelations rarely come to just one person. The collective awareness is a shared storehouse of potential. When you remember you're part of the fluid continuity of life, you become a channel for great inspiration. Allow the magic to flow through you and carry your dreams into your, your reality. Your success will benefit many. So keep sending out those positive intentions. Keep dreaming big. Keep um, living your union because that's, again, what it's saying. It's saying that we are rising up in our collective consciousness. So the more that you do that, the more that you will send those thought waves to your twin. So what do you want us to focus on? And it is something beautiful is being born into life. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and evolved over time? Perhaps you've shed skins and identities and created new ones, or at the very least matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. You know things take time and spirit's timetable is rarely in sync with your own. This card indicates that a long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must try not to coax it along or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Now is the time for reverence and awe. Allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine. All you have to do is to show up. <laughs> so brilliant. It's like basically saying, chill out. It's all under control. Just step aside.